um, if you haven't been there. It used to be a really tacky place, now it's nice. Um, they, they look at the menu online, they, they, you know, the, 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 the girls are really excited, they want to go there, the guys are terrified for the prices, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <I> mean, <laughs> et cetera. So it's, you have this all, um, this, this connected activity, right? Okay, you're on a plane, you get there, you look around town, you, know, take, a, you take a cab, you pay the tip, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, and so you have this online activity of uh, placing a phone call, etc. And, um, and this focuses on automaticity. You know, remember I, I talked about I want my students to say things from memory or close to memory, and this is it. Because the student, oh, excuse me, the system will wait only for a short while, and if you don't talk, stop, start talking in that short period, you lose your turn. And the students realize when they've been skipped, of course, see? So it's a, it's a great self-grading mechanism. I don't have to grade many of the, the m most of the, the mistakes, because when the students say, that was a good call, and they click on submit, <laughs> that, they're pretty darn sure that they, they got it right. Um, we, we check the utterances, we check all the recordings, uh, a recording is on average just about a minute in length. Uh, we have a battery, an army of TAs that, that just go through the calls. <laughs> this is an uncheatable uh, assignment that they, because it's their voice, if somebody's listening to it, it's uncheatable. So even if that kid is really a, you know, I don't know, uh, a freeloader, whatever, <laughs> in class, does nothing, right? Um, he or she needs to get, in, get his act together because otherwise he can't pass this particular activity, which is so popular that we have declared it uh, one of the essential things that you need to do in this class to get course credit. If you do not, if you fail this activity, you, don't, you do not get course credit no matter how good your grades are otherwise. Um, okay, just so you know. Excuse me. What, I, what do I do next? Ah, here, paragraph words. Okay. Alright. I think it's this one. Oh, sorry, it's this one. Okay. Now, aha, right. It's this one right here. Good. We are about to hear a simulated radio news broadcast spoken by one announcer. Now, if you have two announcers talking and giving, delivering the news, it will typically alternate announcers, so you can hear the gaps because the voices change. But when the same announcer gives the news, you have to listen for other cues to hear the gaps between the news. Uh, let's, let's, let's see if we can catch those gaps. All right, click the button on the lower right over here when you hear gaps in the news. There are five gaps. Easy as pie. It's 12 noon, and this is K-Frog News. Mayor Kim Anderson approved the installation of 10 electric vehicle charging stations in Lincoln City. The mayor says the charging stations will attract more tourists. Each charging station costs $50,000. Over 300 residents and tourists are cleaning the beach today. The second Saturday of each month is Beach Cleanup Day. Volunteers receive a t-shirt or a voucher valid at local stores. The Taft Tigers lost 71 to 58 against the Salem Wildcats. The Tigers must win against the Newburgh Archers to remain in the state basketball tournament. A horse wandered into the parking lot of a drive through coffee shop in Newport. The horse apparently became lost after escaping from a local owner. Police caught the animal by coaxing it with a carrot, saying that the horse wasn't attracted to coffee. That's it for the news at the top of the hour, every hour, on KFROG 99.7, your hopping radio station. Okie doke. By the way, those pictures are where we live in Oregon. Yeah, that's Lincoln City. Okay, how well did you do? Listen over and over until you catch all the gaps, etc., etc., etc. This is child's play. Right. Submit. I was a, I was late in clicking. I, I you know, not sitting and stuff. So so I missed a few. That's the idea, right? So first you you listen to the gaps. You realize that at the end of a paragraph you go low and slow. There's a pause there, and you raise your voice to the maximum height, and it naturally falls because you, 
because we physiologically cannot sustain that height. So it drops like that. So you're looking for this low, slow pause, rise and drop. Um, first, we want our kids to catch it. Then we want our kids to say it. So after this, there's this saying activity where you, where you must say the gaps. Anyway, all right, so that's the gap activity. Um, clicking for, for okay, view your process. Ah, yes. Right, well, this is actually slightly difficult to demonstrate. I will try. see if we can view our property. Okay. Listen to how I say sedan and convertible because dan and ver are the stress syllables. That's where the rises are. Your wish is my command. Is it that red two-door convertible? Is it that red two-door convertible? No, it's that red two-door sedan. No, it's that red two-door sedan. Is it that black four-door sedan? Is it that black four-door sedan? No, is that black four-door convertible? No, is that black four-door convertible? Okay. By the way, confession. Um, I did not realize that Japanese kids do not know the word convertible. They say open car, you know? So they would, they, they, although it's spelled out and spoken, they, they would say comfortable. Which has the right, it doesn't even have the right stress placement. But, you know, they would say, is it that black Ford comfortable? And they would say, well, maybe it is comfortable or uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll do So, you must say this at least three times in the same recording to receive points. No, is that black Ford or convertible? No, is that black Ford or convertible? No, is that black Ford or convertible? Sure if I got that. Okay, submit. Okay, so you can listen to yourself. No, is that black Ford or convertible? Hey, all right. No, is that black Ford or convertible? No, is that black Ford or convertible? Well, I'm glad it worked. So we know it works from Otara Shodai as well as from within Hokudai. <laughs> oh, we are connected to the actual server that the students use at school. All right, so there you go, you know? Now, pitch estimation is like, it, it contains errors. And just like when we sign our name, from time, for, for every signature instance, the signatures differ slightly, but overall, they do look the same, or at least resemble each other, right? So we're looking at the, the pitch ups and downs, you know, the students get to com uh, compare that with the model, et cetera, et cetera, and that's how we encourage our kids to say convertible or comfortable or whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> need to say. Okay, doke. Uh, let's see what's the last one. Uh, interpret gestures. Okay. All right. Now the last one. Okay, just here's one shazans. Right. Here's a. Here's another gesture. Here's another one where you click on the, click on cue. Now we're about to uh, watch a video. Uh, that I took when we visited an airplane manufacturing company in Florida. Um, the man on the right is the founder, CEO of this kit airplane factory. The guy on the left is my good friend Bruce who taught me how to fly. Uh, the, the owner of the company is, is talking about a hurricane that swept through uh, Florida a few years prior to our visit, causing extensive damage. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Right? Listen with your eyes and ears for the gestures that made me groan. Sir, yes sir. And so his neighbor then who took his airplane over Lake Wales, well there was so much debris they, the roads were not accessible to get over there to the airport. So he wants your plane's fine, let's fly it over. And he wanted to see his airplane gets there and that whole building, block walls and all, and the oh, main no. beam, I beam, fell across the backbone of the airplane Ouch. and it crushed it. Yeah. And so who'd have thought? Put it in a big hangar where it's supposed to be safe, and the other guy leaves it outside. You know? Okay, so click on the lower right button when you see the gesture 
that, that I responded to. The, 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 the key behind this story is that the man is he's showing that the walls collapsed. He's in the walls, you know, the block walls, but he doesn't say the verb fell down or collapsed because he realizes that the audience, his audience, me, my, my friend, my wife, uh, understood the gesture, so he continues the narrative without having to say it. You know, so so the students realize, oh, okay, maybe I can do that. You know, when I can't think of the right word, the gesture, whatever. Okay, so let's see. Well, and so his neighbor then that took his airplane over Lake Wales. Well, there was so much debris, they, the roads were not accessible to get over there to the airport. So he was, your plane's fine. Let's fly it over. And he wanted to see his airplane. He gets there, and that whole building. Block walls and all, and the oh, main no. beam, I beam, fell across the backbone of the air and crushed it. Yeah. <laughs> and so who'd have thought? Put it in a big hangar where it's supposed to be safe, and the other guy leaves it outside. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So after this activity, the students are asked to please stand <laughs> and do the gesture and say the phrases. This year, because we didn't have cameras on our computers, there was really no way to ascertain that the students were doing that, and certainly no way to show the students that this is what you just did. Um, uh, we, we got, however, um, uh, reports from each classroom that, that they were doing this, for, for the students who were doing this in class, that um, uh, the students were actually standing and doing it, so I thought, wow, these, these kids are really, really cooperative. <laughs> um, so, so maybe next year, with the, with the technology that we, we hope to uh, build, um, this will be uh, an even easier and perhaps uh, more uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, motivating, you know, rewarding task because you know you actually get to see your performance. Okay, doc. So much for that. So let's uh, review what we did. The the arranging phrases in order. You know, you hear these words like flashes of lightning and you move them up and down, and you feel a little bit smug about yourself because although. Your English language skills aren't really that great. You at least got to reorder these sentences in order. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not that bad. So, so we want this, uh, this warm feeling, a, a little bit of, up, of uplifting accomplishment, um, so that the student to to shift the students along. You know what's what's going to be a little more, of course, obviously more challenging uh, over the next uh, uh, 10, 12 minutes. Uh, uh, I, I skipped the, the singing song activity, but you know you can listen to the carpenters sing like Top of the World, for instance. And, and because the, the musical notes go up and down like so, and, and because linking behavior um, causes the, the last uh, consonant to attach with the first vowel of the following word, um, you, 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 can, you can hear the, that the words are actually being torn apart and said the syllabic structure is changing. Um, and because most Japanese kids, many Japanese kids, don't realize that is what is happening, they, 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 they often ask, you know, what the, 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 the spacing in written language is different from the spacing I hear. And, and I say, well, yeah. <laughs> but they're, they're, they're so eye-centric that their, their ears are shot, you know, so, so that's one of the things we do in the linking activity. Uh, the video uh, lectures where, where you're asked to respond to quizzes that they appear on the screen. Um, the phone call, which you, of course, uh, just saw and recall. Um, paragraph breaks and the news broadcast. Uh, the prosody and the, the four-door comfortable or whatever. <laughs> and, and, and the gesture, uh, the audio-visual language uh, understanding thing that, we just, that, was, that was at the end.